Hi there. Is there a project you're working on? I know more than you. All right. Three, one, one. Well, Diane, for potholes, you want to speak with Public Works. I understand you've tried them four times. Government is inefficient and should be dissolved. Please hold while I transfer you. Donna, can you help me? I got a 311 call, but it was all static. That sounds like an IT problem. Well, how do I get IT here? Call 311. <laughs> 311, how can I? Oh, hello again, Diane. Nobody answered. OK, you know what? Someone will be there shortly. Andrew, get your lunch, some water, and a 40-pound bag of asphalt. OK, boss, what are we doing? We're fixing a pothole. Hi, I'm Andy. I really like your dress. I'm a princess. I'm a mermaid. I'm the director of Parks and Recreation. I'm here to fix that hole. This is our kingdom. You have to ask permission. Excuse me? You, your highnesses, we do humbly request thine permission to befix doth holes yonder. Only if you can tag us. Come here. Ah! Your tax dollars at work. Hey, Ron. Good to see you. Weren't you a pirate last year? Yes, this is my Halloween costume. Andrew, are you aware that your bathroom faucet is leaking? Are you kidding me? I just stuffed a sock in it yesterday. What else do they want me to do? There's an exposed wire above the bathtub as well. Oh, yeah, shock wire! I call it that because if you take a shower and you touch the wire, you die! Yes, that is accurate. Do you have a toolbox? Yeah. No home is complete without a proper toolbox. Here's April and Andy's. A hammer, half of a pretzel, baseball card, some cartridge that says Sonic and Hedgehog, a scissor half, and a flashlight filled with jelly beans. In the time I've worked here, I've taken great pains to see as little of this building as possible. Turns out the third floor is silent, empty, and completely free of government work. I can't think of anything more beautiful to share with my son. Well, if I had a toolbox, I could take care of that faulty radiator. This place is a paradise. I guess we could go to a pharmacy, but I really don't want to use like a cheap plastic ring. I hate to say this, but Ann Perkins has terrible taste in rings. What, what is this? It's a toe ring with a brown gemstone? Is this a ruby that's gone bad? I am out of ideas. Jewelry store. No, that's closed. That's why we're doing this. Perhaps I can be of service. How? How much do you think Ann would miss this sconce? Well, I don't know. It's part of her house. <laughs> Well, okay. It's not rocket science. I removed the sconce, fired up my grandfather's torch, heated up the pieces in a cast iron bucket, liquefied the metal, poured into a mold, obviously keep it over a low flame to achieve a nice temper, cooled it in antifreeze, and just forged and shaped the rings. Any moron with a crucible and acetylene torch and a cast iron waffle maker could have done the same. The whole thing only took me about 20 minutes. People who buy things are suckers. When April and Andy married, I didn't get them a wedding present. In my experience, wedding presents are nothing more than kindling on the divorce bonfire. But I think I found a way I can really help them make a home. You, beanbag, come with me. I'm an eggplant. I don't care, come with me. Why? I need small hands. I'm scared. Lemonade? Please and thank you. Hey, I'm sorry if I was curt earlier. I'm a single mom, and sometimes things get chaotic around here. And when you shut up from the parts department... No need to apologize. I understand completely. This is delicious. Well, I got it from food and stuff, so... That's where I got these gloves. Right? So, how exactly are you gonna fix this hole? Just for my own edification. Uh, I dug the loose gravel out of the hole. Now I'm using a jackhammer to remove the larger pieces. Then I'll spray down the hole to settle the dust mm -hmm. and fill it with cold patch asphalt. Well, thank you. Now I can fix the next one myself. 
Ron and Diane sitting in a tree. K I S S I S S I P P I. Do you hear that bird? There. I think I got it. Yep, you got it. Ugh. Can you at least tell me what you're doing? I'm a homeowner. I would like to actually learn something. Yeah. I'm tightening the valve stem into the valve shank. I'm replacing the handle and then tightening the set screw to hold it in place. Now. Oh my god. We made it work. <laughs> it's a good feeling. Sense of accomplishment and pride. Damn it. I just love it so much. Are you okay? Great. I'm going to go around this house and fix everything I can find that needs fixing. You want to help? I really do. Good. That's next. Just as we suspected, John, we repaired the valve stem seal, and now all that remains is to tighten down this packing nut. And that should do it. Can we help you? No. We have everything under control. My crew's redoing this whole floor. We're the only people allowed up here right now. Well, proceed with your work. You won't notice us at all. Well, we're going to be kind of loud. <laughs> My son is several weeks old. He's quite familiar with the sound of power tools. He's a big guy. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Uh, yeah, yeah. I do boop, boop, boop. Man, forget about working. I just want to stare at this baby all day. What is the nature of your work on this floor? Total redo. New floors, fixtures, plumbing. How long will it take? Six to eight weeks. Deal. I will do all this work for you in the time allotted. Just have your tools and materials brought up here. Are you crazy? This is enough work for a whole crew. I'm sure the government believed you when you told them that. And I tip my cap to you for profiting off their ignorance. But I'm offering you two months paid vacation and the ability to take credit for my work, which will be flawless. OK. Guys, let's go. I got all the help I'll need right here. Excuse us. Ah. Nice form, son. Make sure you keep a firm pressure on the cranium. On the cranium? Listen up. I have to turn off the power for one minute. We're going to go dark, people. Bear with us, OK? We got to switch off the main fuse hose. It's just a fuse. It's just a fuse, people. Just a fuse. I'd say you got the handle on that torque wrench. Yeah, well, the flange was a little warped, so I just goosed it with the triple three bolts, Mac. That was nonsense. I know, but it's so fun to talk like that. <laughs> You know what? Keep this. You earned it. Thanks, Ron. Ron, what are you doing here? The most important government work I've ever done, sanding rat urine stains out of this floor. What are you doing here? I come here to think sometimes, by myself. But now that you're here, Damn it. I am going to speak to you very vaguely about a problem that I have, and you cannot ask me any questions or details about it. That is my ideal conversation, aside from no conversation, but that feels unlikely. Look, you know how much I love Pawnee, but the more I try to fix it, the more people fight me. They call me names, they recall me, they try to kill the merger. They literally punch me in the face. And yet every time I contemplate leaving, just walking away once and for all, I just can't do it. What is wrong with me? Yesterday, I fixed that old steam radiator, threaded a new valve into the side, removed the handle from the base, unscrewed the packing nut from the stem. This subpar toolbox only had one wrench, so I was lucky it was a three quarters or I'd have been screwed. <laughs> yeah, man, you are lucky. Come on, Ron. What the hell? I need your help. By the time I was done, this hundred-year-old piece of American-made cast iron was singing like a bird. Now, to most people, this story would seem boring. That's ridiculous. It's a story about a radiator. But to me, it was immensely satisfying because I enjoy fixing radiators. You like fixing this town, Leslie. You always have. You know it's an uphill battle, but you love the struggle. I would also add that you've already done a hell of a lot to make this town better. And people like this young man here will benefit from your hard work. He is a beautiful boy. He's quite a looker. Thank you, Ron. What's that? Nothing. <clears throat> Clear my throat.